please rise for the national anthem of Proudy. I'm a loser, baby. Wait, that's my national anthem. I thought this was meant to be serious, not a song by Beck. It seems to be a recurrent theme going on here, where I start off every episode by announcing that there's been another injury. See, I'm hoping Big Shoulder's not out for too long, because I'll need him when I'm challenging for the championship title next year. But it looks like Ashley Barnes will be returning to Turf Moor for a one-game basis for Crystal Palace, the Judas Mu- Oh Christ, Alan Pardew's got me there. So despite our four-game losing streak, we entertain Crystal Palace at home next in the league. Uh, we beat them twice last season and hopefully I'll continue the run and end the run of games which I'm not winning at the moment. And I'm just babbling on some shit. What the hell am I even talking about anymore? And we finally take the lead. It's Henry Keys. Oh yeah, of course we concede straight away. I was going to say that my league form seems to remind me of my pulling techniques, but I just remembered that I don't actually pull anyone, so that doesn't actually apply to this video. Just look at the league form, it is terrible at the moment. It is pretty obvious now that these next two games are must win. And if I don't win either of them, I'm pretty much screwed for the season, aren't I? So it's nice to see that Henry Bedemo, the Leon left back, has said that moving to Burnley is a possibility in the future. But, you know, we all know he's only moving for the Premier League money because who actually wants to move to Burnley anyway? And yes, boys, we have made the signing of the season for probably the sixth time this season. We have signed Skolzy! Actually, to tell you a little secret, it was actually a conversation with Pep Guardiola which actually got me to sign Skulls. Pep, I was wondering if you wanted to buy Danny Judas off me by any chance. Paul Scholes. Paul Scholes, what's, what's that got to do with anything? <laughs> what is your obsession with Burnley? It's not even a nice town. This is it, I can feel it. This is the game where we're finally going to end that streak of no wins. We are finally, finally going to win a game in the Premier League. So I've changed some of the players to their nicknames and hopefully it'll help you, the viewers, because you've been moaning to me that I haven't changed them and that it actually hurts your eyes to see Marvin Sordell rather than Sordellino. Oh, that Newcastle team is fucking sh... Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. What the fuck is he doing up front? Oh, Jesus Christ, sorry, I fell asleep because that first half was fucking shocking. I tell you what, if this formation works, I should go down as one of the greatest tacticians this game has ever seen. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. I thought I left Giovinco in Proudy in America, but he's come over to this series and he's fucking that one up as well. I think it's safe to say that that formation did not work. Well, at least we're good at one thing. At being consistently shit. He's back from injury now, boys. There is no need to worry. What did they offer for it to be so good? You say you never had it so good. Why is Ben Mee even taking long shots anyway? He can't even shoot. All he does is give away penalties. <laughs> yeah, they're having a laugh, aren't they? Shola Amiobi is going nowhere. And to prove that claim, I am playing him up front in our last game of this episode against West Bromwich Albion at home. Oh, for God's sake. Amiobi! He finally scores. He's broken his dunk and he's vindicated my decision not to loan him out to championship football. And that was it for this game. Shola Amiobi may have scored, but, you know, I haven't won yet again. So here's me struggling to beat, you know, teams like West Brom and Crystal Palace. And then you go and see Watford thrash in Arsenal 5-1. Somebody please think of the... Realism. I'm no hero 